Hi, I'm Liz with Liz Toth Properties, powered by eXp Realty. I'm a residential real estate agent in the Raleigh-Durham area, and I specialize in working with both buyers and sellers. Today is my real estate market update for August. We're going to talk a little bit about what happened over the last couple months in real estate in Wake County, what's happening today in Wake County, and then we'll talk about why, what happens in the housing market historically when we go into a recession and why we aren't in a housing bubble right now. And finally, we'll finish up with three reasons why if you're a buyer and you stepped out of the market, three reasons why it's a great time to get back into the market. So I'm going to share my screen and we will get right into it. So this data is for Wake County only. It's for the month of July. And we can see new listings at just shy of 2,300 homes, still not a lot of inventory. And we actually have seen an increase from last year, obviously 1.6%, but I also track this on a month to month basis. And when we look at last month, we've actually declined. So we had been increasing every single month this year, new listings. And in June, it peaked at 2,500. And now we went into July and we saw a little bit of a dip. So now inventory is starting to come back down. Average sales price for the month of July, 568,000. It is up from June, which was 563,000. So we are still seeing home prices increase despite what you may be reading about in the news. The average days on market in July was 12 days. That's the amount of time it takes from when a home comes on the market until it goes under contract. It is up versus last year. Last year it was about a week. 12 days is still an incredibly fast time for a house to sell. Um, average um, month's inventory, month supply is 1.4 month supply of inventory in Wake County for the month of July. It is an increase from last year. You can see last year we were at 0.6 month supply of inventory, which is not a lot of homes at all. This is still not a lot of homes. You know, when, when you look at, you know, what they call a normal market, a balanced market, it's about a six month supply. We are a long way away from that. When we look at what's happening today in the real estate market, and we look at active and coming soon in Wake County, this includes both new construction and resale. And I should clarify, this is new construction that's been listed in the MLS. There's some new construction out there that isn't listed in the MLS, so it's not everything. Um, but it gives you us a good snapshot. It's about 2,500 homes available for sale in Wake County today. We have almost 3,500 under contract right now that will close sometime in the near future. And then as of today, which is August 11th, just over 500 homes have closed. So we still have a few more weeks to go in the month of August. So we will have more closings coming soon. Wanted to shift gears, talk a little bit about the recession. I know that's been a hot topic in the news today. And a lot of people are asking me what's going on and getting nervous and there's uncertainty. Um, so I wanted to share some information as to what happens historically during a recession. This slide shows the last six recessions and what has happened with the housing market. So you can see home prices actually increased in four out of six recessions. It only went down in two. And in 1991, it went down less than 2%. And then 2008, the Great Recession, which everyone thinks of when they start talking about recession, where home prices went down almost 20%. And we'll talk a little bit more um, about why this isn't going to happen again. So while a recession doesn't necessarily mean a housing crisis, a lot of times during a recession, the mortgage rates actually fall. So this shows the last six recessions and what has happened with mortgage rates. And you can see every single year or every single recession, the mortgage rates went down. And Fortune says that it, mortgage rates fall on an average of 1.8 percentage points during the past five recessions. So, and typically they have a tendency to fall even more because it takes a while to turn the economy around. It's like turning a giant ship. It doesn't happen, over, happen overnight. It takes some time. So why we aren't in a housing market crash or bubble, um, despite what you may be reading in the media, um, I wanted to share some information as to how this market today is different than 2007, 2008, 2009, like that time period when we went into the Great Recession. So first of all, we don't have enough homes to sell. So this is every single year home supply for the last several years. And these bars in red were when we really started having problems. So 2007, 2008, 2009 and 2010 
Um, you can see this was the housing supply, the, the month supply. We peaked in 2008 at almost 11 months supply and then started to trend down starting in 2010. We saw a big drop from 11 into 2012. Here's where we are today. And this is a national information from uh, the National Association of Realtors. Obviously, the triangle is different. Um, we're actually even less than you, um, what you saw in the previous information that we're actually at about a 1.4 month supply. Um, but nationally, inventory across the country is at about a three month supply. Again, a normal or balanced market is about a six month supply. So we're still a long way from that. Um, lending standards. So the higher this number, the easier it is or to get a mortgage or the more readily available loans are. So this is in 2005, 2006, you can see it was really high. And then in 2008, it crashed. Um, lending standards were not really strict at this time. And this is when um, it got really strict. And you can see they've remained strict. So this number has remained relatively low. So we're not in the same situation. Lending standards have stayed strict. Um, so we're uh, not going into a situation where there's going to be a lot of foreclosures. And then speaking of foreclosures, here's what's happened with foreclosures over the last several years. So you can see the peak 2008, 2009, 2010, you know, over 2 million foreclosure filings and then trended down. And then here's where we were as of 2021. So 151,000 um, in 2021. So we're not in a situation where there's a lot of potential bad loans out there that could turn into foreclosures. Um, so that's really why, you know, those three reasons, you know, is the inventory, the lending standards have remained strict and um, we don't have the foreclosures. Those are the three reasons that really lead us to that. We're not in a housing bubble. We're not going to crash. We're not going to see the same thing happen that happened in 2008. And what's ahead for the rest of 2022? Home price forecasts have been modified based on the sales pace slowing. Our sales pace on a national level is slowing to pre-pandemic levels, um, but forecasts uh, are still pointing to an increase in home prices for the year. So um, this is uh, seven folks who, uh, companies who track the home price forecast for the year. And you can see if you average out all seven of these, uh, you would average out to about a 10% increase in home prices for 2022. And finally, I wanted to close with three reasons why it's a great idea to buy a home today. So a lot of folks I talked to have stepped out of the market. They're no longer searching for the home. They're just going to wait and see what happens. Uh, but now is actually a great time to buy a home. So one, you have fewer multiple offer situations. Um, you can see from April 2022, nationally, homes averaged about 5.5 offers. In May, uh, dropped to 4.2, June, 3.4. So there's less competition in the market today, fewer and fewer multiple offer situations. I'm not saying that they, they don't happen, but there's fewer and fewer. Um, fewer homes are selling above asking price. So you can see 61% in April. And again, this is nationally sold over asking. It dropped to 55 in May, and then in June, it was 51. So Fewer homes are, you have less competition, fewer homes are selling over ask. And then also there's more of a supply of homes today. So there's more options for buyers. You know, it's not, we're just going to look, go look at one house and make the best offer we possibly can. You can go out and look at several homes because there are more options. Homes are staying on the, mar on the market longer. Uh, so it is a great time to buy today if you have stepped out of the market. So hopefully this information is helpful to you. If uh, you need any more information or you're interested in buying or selling a home, feel free to reach out. If you want more information about communities in our area, the different cities in the triangle, or you want to see previous market updates, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I look forward to talking to you soon, and I hope you have a great day.